So the background to it is uh, goes back to the lockdown, um, to March 2020, and at that time the Trussell Trust were here. So when the lockdown happened, Trussell Trust closed down all the centres and they moved into a warehouse and they were delivering to people, but the people had to apply online. And so what happened was there were people turning up or people phoning and saying, you know, don't know what to do. So we decided to get some flyers and we got some We Are Here flyers, which we put through, I think it was 1,200 through doors around and we set up a helpline. So people called. One of the major worries was, I don't know how I'm gonna feed my children. I haven't got access to food bank. My benefits aren't coming in, all sorts of things like that. So we said, right, let's go shopping. So we went shopping, we got some food, and then we phoned back these people and said, just come, certain time. And we did it all from outside here. It just grew from there. So when the Trussell Trust said, okay, we're ready to come back now, a year or however long it was later, we said, no, no, we're, we're quite happy with the way we are. So one of the main reasons we wanted to stay as we are is so that we can decide how we present the gospel yeah. and what we do. So we weren't sort of answerable to any other organisation or the government or any of that. And so we could say, you know, this is all provided for. We believe God has provided this for you because he loves you. Um, can we pray for you? And obviously we're looking at um, helping people to make sure that they've got the benefits that they're entitled to. Um, some people don't have any recourse to public funds at all, and so we'd make sure that we gave them more of the sort of staple foods and uh, so provide a bit more for them. So this is for one person, and um, so he's got corned beef, he's got some fruit, he's got um, soup, and yeah, some more soup, and um, baked beans and things and he's got milk and he's got oats <laughs> yeah. this is what he's got today he's got some things and then Tea bags. and this he's got a toilet roll and thing things there so pasta but, rice as well yeah sardines oh sorry yes and so always a bit of tuna always a bit of fish and always a bit of meat and then um he'll have a bag of veg so in there doesn't look too bad, does it? No, it's um, not. We chuck away anything that isn't. So there's onions there, um, courgettes, different things, bit of fruit. Um, so that will go in there. And then could you just show the fridge? Yeah. Yeah, the afterclub stuff. Okay. And this is the bit we've got this at the moment. My job is to ensure yeah. that all the vegetable bags get made up, ready to go with, that made up tins and stuff and then I give out the stuff from the fridge and sometimes I put stuff on the side so we just ask people if they want it because it was near the date yeah. near the sort of best before date or eat tomorrow type of thing we, we make sure we ask them first yeah. The work starts on a Thursday evening so whilst I'm at home booking appointments we, we do um, see people by appointment system although if they come in they come in and you know not everyone you know, can keep to an appointment. <laughs> Lizanne and Co are here and they receive in all the food that comes from the different places, different shoppers from Transform, from the borough. Bill goes off and collects from there and then he um, brings it here. So they all meet up here with uh, Christine Sherm as well and then they bring everything in. So this is Faith. Hi, Faith. Hello. So, um, Faith, can you tell us when you first came here and how you heard about us? Um, I came here through a friend. You come each week to the food bank here, yeah. and do you find um, the atmosphere nice here? Atmosphere is wonderful. Lovely people. 
When you come in here, they welcome you with a smile. Anybody you meet, they show. They, you know, when you come in, you can see the presence of God. You can see how people show you love, you know. When you're boring, when you're at home, you, you're thinking a lot. When you come here, you feel at home. Mm. You feel loved. Mm. No matter what kind of person you are, black, white, green, or whatever color, <laughs> but you still feel love. You see the kind of attitude they show towards you, like godly attitude, like, oh, you are welcome. You're welcome to be in our presence, you know? And I really love it, and I thank God for that. Mm. Thank you. Generally, we have about 20 to 30 people coming in, which represents kind of 60, 70 people, um, you know, obviously taking the family. We had some really good conversations. There were some people with sad stories and a um, couple of people really on my heart at the moment from today. And, you know, pray Lord that you will um, keep them safe and 